Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth with all of my Star Wars Black Series 6-inch scale action figures. A few weeks ago, we posted a video that was uh, all of my Marvel Legends figures, and uh, it had been prompted by a post on uh, the action figure subreddit. Uh, somebody had asked several months ago about uh, what my favorite uh, Marvel Legends figure was, and I had to think about it and think about it and think about it, and all I could do was put them all in the booth and take them out, narrow it down to the, <laughs> until I got to the finally to the last one. It was really hard to do. You can go back and watch that video, see how difficult it was. But since uh, since we posted that video, there's been a been a buzzing in the back of my brain saying, what's your favorite Black Series figure, Dan? And I know, I know, everybody's saying you might as well just just take everyone out and leave Boba Fett right now. But I'm going to tell you, I'm not I'm not 100% positive that it actually is Boba Fett. That figure's pretty old at this point, and I'm not so sure that it has, uh, it, it has, has aged uh, as well as it... Uh, could have, uh, but we're gonna find out. I put them all. In, I, I figured let's set them up, put them in the booth, see see what's what. There's a lot of uh, really good figures that have come out since then. Um, if you don't see something, it's because I didn't buy it. Uh, the you know Black Series starting to push my uh, ability to buy them for two reasons. Uh, one, they don't really come with many accessories. Two, uh, now that they've uh, now that Hasbro has introduced uh, face printing, um, I just can't bring myself to buy an unhelmeted or non-alien any human characters that don't have a helmet on. Uh, I, you know, I feel like we're going to be seeing those again in the very near future with new heads at twenty bucks a piece or more, depending on where you buy them. Uh, I just can't I can't spend that kind of money uh, knowing that the figure is going to be redone. You know, in, in cases like Leia, where the head sculpt was so terrible, and even this one isn't uh, even the newer one isn't face printed, so. Might we see that one again? Like, how many times do I have to buy a figure? So, I'm feeling real gun shy about uh, Black Series right now. And having not seen uh, the Last Jedi yet, obviously, I'm having a hard time connecting to some of these newer characters. And I just the twenty dollars price point's really starting to push it for me, uh, for for a single character with, you know, an accessory and a and a face that just doesn't look very good. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna start pulling figures. Here we go. Oh, real quick, uh, I did want to say that uh, uh, I, I have the Wampa, uh, but I didn't include him here because I forgot that I had him. <laughs> I didn't forget I had him, I just uh, wasn't thinking of him as a typical figure. So when uh, when I got all of these things set up, and this is like the fifth time I set them up because inevitably somebody in the back will fall down and it'll just domino all the way forward. And it's uh, it takes a really long time. So once I got all these set up, I was like, oh, I forgot to put the Wampa in. Uh, and then I just didn't want to take the chance that I was going to knock everything over by putting the Wampa in. So the Wampa is here. He's not number one, so I'm just not going to put him in. You know, before I pull that Vader figure out, uh, there's there's three different Vaders in here. Uh, what it is is this is the original release Vader with the sad puppy dog face and removable helmet. Um, I did the cape mod on it. I don't know. It's still got the Superfly chain here uh, in the back. This one over here on the left is uh, this is uh, Emperor's Wrath, the one that came with the clear helmet and head and the skull inside. I repaint. I painted the. Whoops. I painted his helmet black. Uh, that was before the 40th anniversary figure was released, and uh, everybody had pretty much told me that was the best Vader figure compared to this one. And those people were right. That was the best Vader figure. Helmet is so much better than this one. In fact, there's a Dan in the Photo Booth episode uh, if you want to go watch me uh, paint that one up. Um, but uh, I also did the cape mod on that one, uh, so no chain or anything like that. So uh, this Vader is obviously out. Uh, 40th anniversary Vader in the back there is is superior to this one, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this one as well, and back to the countdown. Now, at this point, I'm, I'm down to figures that, uh, figures that I really do like. Um, and uh, pretty much everything I pull out from here on in uh, is going to be, you know, it's a good figure, but it 
it's uh, I, I just got to start making some tough decisions here. It's not it's not going to be number one. So, you know, this is all good stuff here. Um, but I got got to got to narrow it down somehow. Right, this is getting real tough because uh, obviously from the selection that's left over here, I love bounty hunters, uh, so you've still got bounty hunters in play. Um, I love rebels, so you still have all the rebels characters in play, and I love troopers, uh, imperial troopers, so it's I'm having a real hard time getting rid of all these troopers. Rogue One was so good to us in terms of delivering all kinds of new kinds of uh, troopers. Uh, I have to admit, though, that most of these are the exact same figure from the, the waist down, at least, or from the neck down, actually. Uh, the pilots and the uh, Scarif uh, beach troopers there, short troopers. Uh, and then, of course, I mean, yeah, biker scouts are awesome. And then in the back, you've got the shadow scout trooper. And I just like, how do you choose? How, how do you get through that? But uh, but we got to, so we're going to do this. Um, so, uh, Soka's out. Nice catch there by the short trooper. Now let's straighten up the short trooper issue here. In case you don't follow my Instagram, uh, Toy Galaxy. I love the short trooper, and uh, my what I what I really wanted was that short trooper. I don't know, Captain, uh, who had the 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 blue is important for me. I really like the blue. Uh, and the two releases we got were, if I remember correctly, <laughs> it is this as the regular short trooper, no skirt, no blue. Uh, and then there was the short trooper captain that had the skirt with the blue. Uh, and what I really wanted was no skirt, no blue. Uh, excuse me, no skirt with blue. Uh, that's that's the one I, I prefer the most. Uh, so I ended up buying one of each of these. Oh, and I had, uh, that's what I was, I had pre-ordered a... Whichever one was the exclusive to Walmart, I had pre-ordered that one. And then uh, once I saw that the other figure was being released, I ended up grabbing a second one uh, and then doing a torso swap. So this is a non-issued figure and this is a non-issued figure because uh, technically this blue is supposed to be on the skirted one. This figure from the you know torso up should look exactly like this one. So technically uh, I got to pull both of these because they're not figures that were actually, you know, issued uh, by Hasbro. Uh, and that's part of the, the gig here is uh, judging the figures based on how they were released. And nobody wants to stand anymore, so everybody's gonna be laying over, laying down. So, you know, it turns out this is my top nine, and I really, as far as I'm concerned, all of these figures are, are on equal footing. I can't, you know, like, taking out Sabine, I gotta take out Hera at the same time. Might as well take out Kanan, because they're all the same to me. <clears throat> uh, you know, it's like, Boss, Fett, Fett, <laughs> Vader. You know, I just, they're, they're all great figures that I love for different reasons, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and I mean, you know, this guy, congratulations. He's wave one, still one of the best figures uh, in the entire series. But uh, the reality is, is I start to ask, when I get down to, to this low, I start to ask myself the question, which one, if I could, if I literally had to give away the rest, I could only keep one figure. Uh, it, it tends to make that decision pretty easy. Uh, and 
and man, I feel like I had the same problem with Marvel Legends. Um, you know, they're all great figures. I love all three. I wouldn't want to. I would have to fight whoever was trying to make me choose uh, because I wouldn't want to be able to get. A, I wouldn't want to have to get rid of any one of these three figures. But you know, if it came right down to it, and I mean, look, I'm I'm surprised by this because, like I said at the top of the video. I wasn't totally sure that uh, Boba Fett really had uh, held up that well and that he was still going to be able to pull the number one spot uh, and be the be my favorite of this whole line. It's been several years at this point and a lot of figures have come out. So I don't know. It's a surprise to me. Maybe it's not a surprise to you. All right. It's probably not a surprise to you. But anyway, there it is. That's number one. Uh, I am genuinely surprised by that. Um, it's, it's a little, the, the, I, I love Boba Fett and I can't get over the, the costume and the look of the character. Who cares what he's done canonically as far as I'm concerned? Um, I'm still mad that my figure somehow picked up a mark of paint here. Uh, excuse me, a ballpoint, like, pen mark. I have no idea how that happened. Might have been just rubbing from another figure. It just looks like pen. Anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for watching. This is the most anticlimactic video that's ever been on the internet. <laughs> um, uh, let me know in the comments down below what uh, who your who your number one figure is, uh, and if uh, if there's a quality figure, you know, a quality figure that can outweigh uh, just you know being your favorite character. Anyway, thanks for watching. Later.